What's going on guys? It's your boy Chili bringing you another Lego review. This time we are doing Lego Marvel Studios The Infinity Saga, Avengers Endgame Final Battle, set number 76192 with 527 pieces. Now I will say, even though I did get this on sale for $45 when it's originally $70, I hate this set, guys. Like, this is probably... Other than the amount of, like, minifigures you get, like, the actual build is just garbage. Like, I hate this set. Do not like it. Wish I would have never bought it. But I've got it now, and, yeah, let's, let's just get into this box. So, top left corner, you're going to have LEGO, the Marvel Studios, the Infinity Saga logo. Bottom right, you're going to have the set information over here you're going to have all your minifigs slash micro figs so you do get an ant-man micro figure you get captain america iron man thor scarlet witch black panther a chitari and thanos and in the very bottom right hand corner you have the avengers logo and over here with my sticker my clearance sticker on top of his head you get thanos with the infinity gauntlet you know in the like popping out of the background and the center of the box you get the whole build so you get scarlet witch and iron man thor and captain america fighting thanos you get black panther fighting a chitauri you get ant-man popping out of the uh the van there you get a little missile launcher radar dish up top you know whatever it's it's the little end game final battle so Moving on to the bottom of the box, this is a 2021 Lego set. There's your barcode, your Lego Life app, some of that comic book block work with the Lego Marvel Studios, the Infinity Saga logo, and the set number. This side of the box, you're going to get the Marvel logo with more of that comic book block work. On this side, you're going to get the set number, the Lego logo, and the choking hazard with different ways or different languages to say the set name with more of that comic book block work. Up here, you're going to get the actual size of the Scarlet Witch minifigure, more of the block work, where your components are made, Lego Marvel Studios, the Infinity Saga logo with the set number. Moving on to the back of the box, you're going to get some of the like play features of it. So it gives you the inside view of the, the, uh, the build that you get with some of the figures there with the van with Ant-Man standing on top, Black Panther and Thor drinking over there out of some coffee mugs, some, uh, holograms of Captain Marvel and Rocket and you get like a gel cell to put Thanos and the Shatari in, which is very unmovie accurate. And then Iron Man has the little nano gauntlet that you can put on your minifigure there with like a little workbench for it. Down here, the van door does open and close. And you can shoot the missile off and the gel cell does come down so that you can get Thanos out. You get the... Marvel Studios the Infinity Saga logo there. The Lego version of Thanos with a different clearance sticker on top. And the Lego logo and set number there. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I hate this set. Regret that I bought it. The build is, like, nothing to it. It took, like, 20 minutes to build this thing. Like, I just really didn't like it. But anyway, let me get the set and set it up and I can start the review. Right, guys, so as you can see, there's the build. Nothing really impressive. Like, like I said, I really hate this set. Don't recommend buying it unless you just want to get these particular minifigures. Or if you just want to have all the Avengers sets. But let's get started here with the big boy Thanos who is weighing down my little stick here. So, but yeah, I mean, he looks all right. Except for his weapon, this like butter knife thing. Like, I really don't like that. It does not look movie accurate at all. But taking that out of his hand, his hands do turn. And his arms are connected with connect pieces. Or not connect, uh, technic pieces. So I guess if you want to have his arm chopped off, you can. He has some good 
gold printing there and a little bit on his legs with some gray legs nothing much on the back and he does have an an oversized lego head so for comparison you can see like it's way bigger than a standard lego head but you can do weird stuff like if you want him to have like a big thanos head on a black panther body you can do that and if you want to have let's say black panther on a big thanos body you can do that as well but other than that that's all you get out of the thanos like minifig i guess if you call it i don't even know if they call that a minifig first time i've ever had like a figure that's big like this so yeah getting into the next figure we'll go ahead and just do the black panther since i already got him out and i am highly disappointed with this minifigure they only did some back print and some chest print like they could have done leg print waist print arm print they could have gone all out with this character and they didn't but the front there you just get like his helmet and the back it's more of his helmet he does have like this little darth maul style like attachment to go on top of his head to be like the little cat ears but that's it like like i said highly disappointed in how they did that character Moving on to probably the best minifigure out of the lot, just because it does have a decent amount of detailing on it, you get the, well, if I stop, uh, if I can get them on to stay on the little stand I put them on, you get the Iron Man minifig who does have foot print, leg print, chest print, waist print, back print. Plus he's got his little, you know, like flying action there he's got his little repulsor blast that does shoot off if you push down on the back end of it and then he comes with the shield there as well now taking that out of his hand so you can see the waist print and all better he's just really incredibly detailed and then if you pop open you do get the mask there and then you get the tony stark head without the the hud in it on the other side and he does have his hair, but I don't remember what I did with his hair, to be honest, guys. Like, probably, no, oh yeah, I did. I stuck them, I stuck them in the, the van. So all the extra, like, parts that come with them. So, speaking of which, I forgot to get out the, the Ant-Man minifigure. So he's there, but he does include his hair piece as well as captain america's hairpiece so you don't have to have the helmets on them the whole time but moving on from him to to the scarlet witch she's got the same deal she's just got extra little pieces here instead of the short ones to simulate that she's flying up she's got some blast here she does come with the pieces if you want to shoot them off you can Pulling those out of her hands so you can see her better. She's just got like a necklace, a little bit of chest print, nothing too special, a little bit of back print, got a nice hair piece. And then on the back side, she gets her red eyes. So she's all in all, she's an okay character, but just not like the best out of all of them. Then you move on to Thor here, who has very little detailing as well he's got a chest print and a back print the gunmetal gray arms some black legs he's got stormbreaker nice hair piece the soft cape and if you take his hair off he's got the lightning eyes as his second face moving on to steve rogers captain america he's going to have his shield and moin moinier I can't remember if that's how you say it or not, but taking those out of his hands, you're going to see that he's not very detailed as well. He does have his helmet on with a chin strap, but not very detailed on the front side or the back side. I mean, it's okay, but no leg print, no nothing. Taking off his helmet, his second face is like a smiling face, where his, his front face is the helmet strap. And moving on from him, you got a boring character the shatari not much detail on him he comes in a couple of other sets nothing really different about him i've done reviews doing this character before and then 
with this set, I guess they decided to throw in two of these Ant-Man micro figures for no apparent reason. Let me, I forgot to zoom in guys. Whoa, way out of focus, way out of, it does not want to focus on these minifigs for some reason. So there you go. You get two of the, the Ant-Man micro figures there. Not very special at all. Like got more detail on them than they do on some of the minifigs though. So that's pretty good. No back detail, but detail all the way down from the helmet to the chest, to the legs, waist, everything else. And it does come with two for some reason. And like I said, you get Tony Hawk, or not Tony Hawk, Tony Stark and Steve Rogers hair pieces as well. The Shatari does come with this little blaster here, little stud shooter that shoots off. But all in all, I'm not crazy about the minifigures. Getting to this van that I kind of already showed y'all because I forgot to pull, uh, pull stuff out. You do get the X-Con van or, you know, Ant-Man's van. On the back here, you're going to have some sticker work with an Ant-Man, uh, like, helmet with two ants there. You got the spare tire. You open it up. You got a, a sticker of the quantum, whatever they call it. I don't even remember what it's called, but it takes you to the quantum realm. You got X-Con on the side, some dark glass for the windshield, some windows that are like halfway rolled down. It does roll pretty good if you can, let me zoom out. It does roll pretty good, but the, like I said, that opens up, got some tail light. But opening it up, you just pop these pieces off and you can see it's got a space right here. You can see my hand through it. Hey there, you got a space up here that you can also see my hand through. I don't know why they did that. And then the steering wheel is on the center with like a console there that you can see. So that's a little weird. Don't know why they did it that way, but whatever. Moving all this stuff back into the van so that I can, so that I can finish the review up, get all this mess out of the way. You've got probably the worst part of the whole review. You've got the little Avengers base here. Now this is kind of cool, the little destroyed sign. You got the the uh, missile here that you can fire off and it's a pretty strong little rubber, rubber missile. You got the antenna here with this little purple piece. You got like a siren. I don't know what this thing's supposed to be. And the front of the building is kind of bland, just windows and some white and blue with a little bit of stuff to step on if you got for your minifigs. You got a little Lego handprint uh, scanner to get into the front door. The front door, of course, does open up from both sides. You just push it open from the other side if you need to, but it does open from this side. But that's pretty much all of the, the front of the building. Now getting to the back of the building, you're gonna notice one thing. I did not put my stickers on those blue pieces cause I'm probably not gonna keep this. I'm probably gonna to, going to uh, break it down and use those for something else. So I didn't want the stickers to be on it. So I don't have the Captain Marvel and Rocket Raccoon sticker. But anyway, you got a little plant there, some little seating area for your minifigs to sit at. You got a little weapons rack here that the guns kind of freely spin around so they never stay in like where you want them to be here's the gel cell that you can lower down and you know it does have enough room to fit thanos and the shatari in it can't remember if i gotta have his arms down or up to get him in i think they gotta be up to get in so now that i'm saying this i can't get my thanos figure to go in there but he does fit i just pulled him out of the thing like he does fit in there some somehow or another. There you go. And then you also have enough room for the Shatari to go in there in front of him. And then you just close it up. Not very movie accurate at all. So don't really like that piece too much. Got some little lights up here or simulated lights. There's your nano gauntlet with some sticker work there. And this does pull out so that you can get 
you know, better access to in here and here. So you got some stickers on the side for them working on the nano gauntlet, little nano gauntlet, and then another computer screen there with the little time, mach time machine thing that Tony Stark invents with a keyboard. Like I said, guys, nothing impressive about this set. That's why I'm kind of trying to move through it because I really did not like this set. You get a little hallway. You get a hallway there to the to the front door, but that's pretty much it of this set. Like, I absolutely can't stand it. I do not like this set. I'm probably going to break it down and use the windows maybe to make a building of some kind or, you know, whatever I decide to do. Like, I'm trying to figure out a mock I want to do. And those windows will work perfect if I decide to go with that particular mock. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call this one done. Not too much to talk about with this one, really. It's a small build for 500 pieces, like not really good minifigures. I mean, you get a nice selection, but they're not detailed like I think they might should be. Seeing that, you know, like Black Panther wouldn't have been that much harder to add some leg and waist print but anyway like i said calling this one done if you enjoyed the video give it a huge thumbs up consider subscribing for more lego content and i will catch you all on the next one